Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. In this video I will show you how to convert Putty's keys into open SSH keys. So are you ready? Let's get started. So if you are actually generating your keys, I mean your public and private keys using a program called Putty Gen under Windows and you want to use them under Linux or Mac OS, you must convert them to open SSH format because when you are using Windows program Putty Gen it actually produces the keys in SSH2 format so first thing first the first thing is actually to install what we call the Putty tools so I will do sudo upgate install then the Putty tools Okay. So me, I already installed this utility, so I have actually the command that allows me to convert them into open SSH format. Okay. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have two keys, a private key and a public key, and they are both generated using the Partition program under windows so in order for example let's open this private key here just to see how it looks so i will use for example sublime text here we go now you can see here the format of a private key generated with partition but this format is not compatible with Linux on the Mac OS, so I have to convert it to open SSH format. So in order to do that, we use utility called actually Putigen. Putigen. Then we have to provide the name of our private key. Here we go. Then minus capital O, then the parameter private open SSH then finally we provide our output file so I will just call it uh, private dash private dash open SSH okay so I hit enter so of course as you may know the private keys are always protected by a passphrase when you generate them so here you have to provide your passphrase for your private key so I will type it here and here we go you can see the my desktop they have generated the private key but this time it has actually the open SSH format so let's open it using sublime text private open SSH and this is actually the format the open SSH format corresponding to the SSH2 format generated by Putty Gen under Windows. Okay, and at last for the public key. And now for our public key that you can see here on my desktop, I will use another program called SSH Keygen. So if you installed open SSH server under Linux, it's actually integrated with it. So I will use this program called SSH Keygen. Okay, then switch dash I, then dash F. Then here I have to provide the name of my public key. So this is the public key generated under Windows. Then the superior symbol. Then here I'll have to specify the name of the output file. So here I will be just using a name public dash open SSH. So you can give it whatever name you want. And here we go. So you can see now that I have generated an open SSH format file for my public key. So I can open it using Sublime Text just to see how it looks. Here we go. So this is actually the open SSH format that I have been created. OK, 
okay so if you want to actually add the public key open ssh format to your authorized key you have to do the same command but here instead actually of uh, the this symbol here you have to add another superior symbol and of course the name or the location of your authorized key which by default is in home directory slash dot ssh slash authorized keys okay so if you execute this command the public key will be integrated to your authorized keys and any system with your private key can get access to your system okay so that was just brief introduction to how you can convert ssh2 format keys into open ssh keys under linux but the same also is applicable under mac os so of course you can do all that under windows if you are using the program Patigen, you can actually use the manual conversions in order to convert the putty format to open ssh format okay it's always easy to do it with windows but here we are under linux and i showed you how we can do all that under linux as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye